close it up that way. Calm down. It'll probably melt. Yeah. Hey, come close this door for us, please. Keep it keep it down a little so it's not like going in his You want them to bend down, you don't want them to be straight up going right in their lungs, you know. Usually they're used to drinking underneath. Which is that way up? Like, yeah. Usually their neck is down. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Stop it. Dylan is a stubborn child who refuses to eat at all. And our children refuse to drink at all. Let's do it. Like the kids. Come on, Daddy. Come on. He never seems to drink a bottle. Except for Felicity. Felicity is <coughs> fine. first of October. I remember when he was born, it was a couple weeks ago. It wasn't he said he was about he said it was about a month, but um I feel like yeah, he probably was beginning of October. I thought it was only a couple weeks, but it's probably been a month close to it. Right there he popped it up when he ran into it. Oh, wow. He's gonna charge you is what he's doing, so don't be close. <laughs> Don't you dare. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't never seen somebody that little trying to be so big. What a noose. I wouldn't want him as a big cow. <laughs> well, this has turned out to be a crazy day. We were definitely not expecting to have a little calf on the farm this soon. So we've been talking about it, Katie and I, uh, about maybe getting a little steer to feed out because our cows are taking so long to get bred that we maybe go ahead and get a steer to raise for, for meat in the meantime while we're waiting on ours to get bred. Our little he's about a year now but he he was kind of stunted in the beginning he was weaned about three or four months old and it set him back several months so he's really starting to grow and do good now and he's acting interested in the females when they come into heat but he's he's considerably smaller than the big cows so he's going to be a few more months before he's able to breed and then we got another nine months of waiting so we were uh, we were talking about it even looked on 
Facebook today and found some bottle baby calves for sale. And they're about 40 minutes away from us. So I reached out and messaged the guy. And about 20 minutes later, haven't heard back from him yet, we went down, Katie had went to get the guy's contact info over here for this, uh, the 150 acres across from us. We kind of unofficially look over their cows for them. So like when they get out, we put them back in for them. If they're sick, we contact them. Well, the old man passed away and this was somebody new. Turned out it was his grandson. So while she was getting his contact info and talking, they were talking about the cow. There's a cow that just gave birth over there about three weeks ago and she's doing terrible. You can tell she's about lame in her back end. And he's like, yeah, I've just, I need to put her down because she's not doing good, but I don't know what to do with the calf. He's like, y'all don't want a calf, do you? <laughs> and Katie's like, sure, how much? He's like, man, you can have it. I just would love to put the cow out of her misery. And if you'll take the calf, you can have it. So Katie come and got me. I'd just gotten home from work. And uh, here we go. We got a little bull calf. He's a little bull. So we'll make him into a steer. And uh, we'll raise him up to, to be our first beef in the freezer. So he's stubborn little booger now. I'm not going to lie. He, he is, like I say, he's about three weeks old roughly and uh he's a fighter but he hadn't been eating very good because mama's not doing very well at all so we're gonna see if we can get him on a bottle the next few days and uh go from there i don't have a empty cattle panel right now to make a hutch so we're just repurposing the old uh meat bird pen here until uh monday and i can get a another cow panel so he's doing all right in there though the lord works in mysterious ways it's it's really neat we were hoping to find one that we could afford and uh the only thing we had to buy for him was some milk replacer in a bottle so <laughs> i'm not going to complain about that that's exciting i'm gonna take you and show you the baby chicks unfortunately out of the 37 38 chicks that we got i don't remember how many it was we don't have many left that one's on it well actually that one might be dead now this one's on its way out these here are kind of questionable and we've got three that are in good shape it's really sad because in my opinion it's just negligence on this part of the u.s postal service you know so to whatever 25 at least 26 dead so far we talked to the hatchery and of course you know they they'll send us more if we want the males like we ordered all males on these um it's going to be probably three to four weeks and that puts us into the end of november and if we they said that if we would take a straight run that they would give us few extra birds to compensate for the ones that we paid for being all males so and they could send those out in a couple days so that's probably the route we're going to go just so they're all kind of together at the same age but it kind of stinks you know miss buttercup seems to be doing very well she is getting daily um, lessons on manners <laughs> we actually got her halter uh, changed out it's not quite the right size so we've got one ordered this is more for like a horse but we got one ordered for for a cow so that one will fit a little bit better when it gets here but she is doing a lot better at walking around with the rope she's still a little bit stubborn and you'll have to drag her from time to time but Considering the first time we pulled her around, it was pulling her around the whole time. Um, she does really good, and it's only been a week, so a week today. So we're, we're, we're excited to see the progress. I actually took her out today, out the gate, to be with the other cows on a rope, and just walked her around, and uh, she wanted to stay out there. But <laughs> we're going to leave her in here just a few more days till we make sure we can walk up to her without her wanting to run off and be scared. So progress is progress, so we'll take it.
Well, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. We greatly appreciate y'all watching our videos. We'll see you next time.